So welcome to this session. Uh, I am Yannick Moy. I'm a, a Spark product manager at Datacore. Uh, most of you know Mr. C, but how many of you really know Mr. C? Uh, so uh, in this talk, I will present the high-level goals that Mr. C pursues and how we can go beyond what Mr. C offers with a different language called Spark Ada. And this technology is co-developed by Adacore and Altran. In a nutshell, Mr. C is the most successful uh, coding standard for C code. It's neatly divided into 159 guidelines, most of which uh, are decidable, which means that they can be decided by a tool automatically. That still leaves 16 broad guidelines, which are called directives, and 27 precise but undecidable rules that cannot be fully automated. An example of such a rule is this rule 1.3, there should be no occurrences of undefined or critical and specified behavior. And this rule, in fact, is even a meta understandable rule, because to check for this rule, you have to check for all possible occurrences of uh, undefined behavior or critical and specified behavior in the C standard. There are hundreds of them. In fact, the Mistress C Annex H lists uh, them for 10 pages. And most of these are uh, themselves undecidable. So it's quite hard. Now, Spark makes the undecidable tractable. Spark Ada is a subset of the Ada programming language. And as such, it's already stronger than the 116 decidable rules of Mr. C. Then the Spark subset suitably restricts the Ada language to provide a strong semantic coding standard. That's what we call, call the stone level here. On top of that, the Spark analysis can demonstrate that uh, correct initialization and correct data flows of your programs are respected. That's what we call the bronze level. On top of that, the Spark analysis tool can prove that there are no runtime errors in your program. That's what we call the silver level. On top of that, you can specify properties in your program related to security or safety and uh, demonstrate them formally. That's what we call the gold level. And if you want to go beyond that, you can go up to full functional correctness. That's the platinum level. So in this talk, I'd like to go one by one, enumerating the high-level goals of Mr. C and showing how Mr. C and Spark compare on those. At the most basic level, Mr. C aims at ensuring program consistency. This requires controlling uh, include directives they, they use, uh, checking for possible uh, link time mismatch, uh, enforcing encapsulation of data whenever possible. All that. Uh, is immediately achieved when you use Spark by relying on the ADA module system. Still, at a basic level, MISRA uh, rules aim at ensuring uh, syntactic guarantees. Uh, that would allow to prevent the kind of bugs uh, that uh, were famous here, the go-to-fail bug that in 2014 uh, impacted the security of SSL TLS from Apple. Well, respecting the Mr. C subset would have prevented this bug. So Mr. C has a number of rules related to uh, restricting the syntax of C. For example, it forbids block comments. It uh, mandates that all the function call results are used. It uh, requires that all the scopes inside if and, and loops are closed with curly braces. That would have prevented the go-to-fail bug that we just saw. It forbids complex forms of loops and switches. And all that, you get that immediately in Spark uh, that's built in from Ada. Uh, now we get to a goal that uh, sets out C from many other programming languages. C is not type safe. And that's bad. The Mr. C document says it. It says ISO C may be considered to exhibit poor type safety as it permits a wide range of implicit type conversion to take place. These type conversions can compromise safety as their implementation defined aspects can cause developer confusion. Mr. C has many roles to address this uh, type safety, uh, to ensure that point, there's no confusion between pointers, addresses, arrays, uh, references, to ensure that there's no confusion between various scholar types that are used for different purposes, uh, to ensure that uh, it's well understood where type conversion takes place, either implicitly or explicitly. And all that, again, you get immediately in Spark because it's built in from Ada. 
So until now, we were in the world of decidable goals. Let's go beyond and look at undecidable, go undecidable goals. MISPC has a few rules to ensure that all the data is initialized, initialized before it's read. And the main one is uh, rule 9.1, which says the value of an object with automatic storage duration shall not be read before it has been set. Well, it turns out it's very hard to verify, and there are very few MISPC checkers that enforce this rule. In Spark, the Spark analysis tool can detect all occurrences of reads of uninitialized data. How is it possible? Because the Spark language subset was designed so that this is possible. MISPC also has a number of rules to prevent unintended side effects inside expressions. That's for two, uh, in, with two objectives in mind, decreasing the possibility for developer confusion. And the second is to avoid some undefined behavior that are related to conflicting side effects, uh, which are underpinned by this section of the, uh, of the C standard explaining what happens in case of conflicting side effects between sequence points. I know of no misspecific checker that enforces this rule. In Spark, uh, the Spark analysis tool can detect all occurrences of unintended side effects. Again, this is because the Spark language subset was designed for this goal. Now, let's uh, look at the undefined behavior problem, the plug of C programs. This picture depicts the world of your C program after an undefined behavior. Anything is possible, in particular because the compiler will exploit the undefined behavior in your program to optimize your code. And if you don't believe me, I uh, uh, encourage you to uh, look at the online blog post by Ralph Levine called With Undefined Behavior, Anything is Possible. It has this image and all the details. So it would be OK if it was an oddity, a curiosity, if undefined behavior didn't occur in the wild. That's not the reality. Reality is that all C programs have undefined behavior. And my favorite example is a two-line program in the Mr. C document itself. So uh, we have written this book comparing Mr. C and Spark that uh, uh, you can take. And in the preface, you will see this example, the details of this one. So if the experts in the Mr. C committee didn't see that undefined behavior, who can? On the other side, the Spark proof tool can detect all cases of undefined behavior, or as we would call them, uh, runtime errors, because they correspond to runtime exceptions in ADA. Again, this is due to how the Spark language was defined. Finally, it's always a good idea to avoid useless code. So in misfit C parlance, it's uh, dead code or unreachable code. Uh, MISPC says as much, but it doesn't say how you, en you enforce that. So for unreachable code, code that's not executed, possibly uh, using the coverage from your test suites uh, can be good enough. What about dead code? Code that is executed but doesn't contribute to the results much harder. In Spark, the static analysis tool uh, can detect many uh, occurrences of dead and unreachable code because it, it computes a complete graph of all the uses of variables inside your functions. So it can detect all the computations that don't contribute to the result of the function. So in all the problems that I mentioned before, all the goals, they are general quality issues for software, whatever you, your language. A legitimate, legitimate question is how much of that relates to security. And it turns out that quality of software is really a prerequisite for security, and that's what these NIST researchers said back uh, last year in a report after uh, having examined eight years of the National Vulnerability, vulnerability Database uh, of reports from this National Vulnerability Database. They say the high proportion of implementation errors suggests that little progress has been made in reducing these vulnerabilities, vulnerabilities that result from simple mistakes, but also that more extensive use of static analysis tools, code reviews, testing could lead to significant improvement. And the elephant in the room here is the programming language. So before you go at great length to use static analysis tools, look at your language. The programming language has a lot to do with the effort you will need uh, afterwards. 
So that's all uh, for this talk. If you want to talk to us, uh, please come to our booth. So we are just next to the big arm booth close to the door in all four, booth 149. Uh, as I said, so we have this book. I have a few copies of this one uh, that's essentially going into more details about Mistress C and Spark. Uh, there's an online version with a very neat uh, interactive feature so you can compile and analyze directly from the browser that you can find at learn.adocore.com. And the main message of this talk was that if you're serious about removing C vulnerabilities, have a look at Spark. That's all. Thank you.